Well, today is the day the Israeli baseball team has finally made its Olympic debut against South Korea. The team, which is largely made up of American Jews, has had a Cinderella-like journey to the Olympics, becoming one of only six teams to actually qualify for the Games. And this year marks the first time that Israel sent a baseball team to the Olympics. Now, tomorrow, the team will also be facing off against the Americans to determine the matchups for next week when the knockout rounds begin. And joining us now is Jeremy Wolf. He's one of the members of Israel's baseball team. So, Jeremy, what can we expect out of Team Israel's performance in this year's Olympics? We're a good team. Uh, that's all I can say. From top to bottom, our roster is uh, solid, it's deep. And uh, we have so much international and, and professional baseball experience, like top to bottom in that in our lineup. It's it's really good. We're a really good team. Uh, the rest of the world isn't giving us uh, the credit that's due. Now, explain how these games are actually going to work for those who don't understand. What happens next uh, for Team Israel, and what is that path to gold? Uh, Right now we're playing Korea. I think we're in the seventh inning. Uh, last time I checked, Ryan Lavarno hit a two-run home run to go up 4-2. Um, we have to play Korea and Team USA. Then we get seeded into a, uh, a bracket tournament. If we lose these first two games, we're out. Uh, if we win one of the two or both of them, uh, we get to move on to the next round. And then it's a single elimination from there. Um, and uh, with six teams in the tournament, you know, there's a 50% chance of of winning a medal. So um, it's the way the tournament is. And, and so we're going to do uh, what we can to get there. That's very exciting. Now, who would you say that Team Israel's biggest competition is at the Olympics? Uh, ourselves. Uh, we're good enough to win a medal. We're good enough to win each of these games. In baseball, uh, it's not necessarily uh, who you got uh, you know, in the bullpen or, or on the mound or uh, on the field, but uh, it's, it's, it comes down to what's between the ears. Uh, it comes down to winning each pitch, winning each inning. Um, we're really good. Uh, if we limit mistakes, if we capitalize on errors, uh, we have an opportunity to to win a medal. And I, the way we're playing today against Korea, I, I don't see how we can't win gold. We're, we look really good. Now, a lot of the players on Team Israel, just like yourself, are American Jews who were raised outside of Israel um, and now have become Israeli citizens. How do they feel about representing Israel and the choice to do that instead of representing the United States? We're all really proud Jews. Uh, in America, you know, I, I was always a uh, one of the Jewish ball players. A lot of us felt that growing up. And so when Peter Kurz gave us the opportunity to become, uh, you know, an Israeli citizen, to make Aliyah, to um, to represent Israel, we, we knew this was an opportunity to represent our Jewish uh, heritage, our Jewish culture, uh, the Jewish community back home. And so for each of us, we're unbelievably proud to compete at this level to represent um, our family and our friends and, and kids who were growing up exactly like we did, but to represent Israel. It's incredibly important for us to do that. And we're all unbelievably passionate about um, kind of bringing baseball to Israel. Uh, and we think it's really important to represent Israel on a global stage like this. Right. And speaking of that, do you think that baseball could uh, become a popular sport here in Israel, given, you know, the team's success and even making it to the Olympics and, and its performance? I mean, what does this performance ultimately mean for the state of Israel? Yeah, with visibility comes kids playing. Uh, if you can't see it on TV, if you don't see it at the park, if your friends don't play it, you're not going to play it. And so baseball is one of these sports. And I think uh, for a large part, I think all of every sport, uh, if there's visibility on television, in popular culture, on the news, if your parents are talking about it, you're going to be more likely to, to play. In Israel right now, there are three fields. Uh, two more are going up. And so with more access to baseball, more kids will play baseball. It, us winning a medal, uh, us even competing, but us winning a medal is unbelievably important for the future of baseball in Israel. Uh, there are around a thousand players right now. I think winning a gold medal means there might be another thousand or 2000 and it'll just continue to grow from there. Things like that in, in global sport, uh, they snowball, but more access to baseball is ultimately better for baseball.